everybody. Well, I'm still on my flower kick. I guess I'm in a hurry for spring and summer. I want some color flowers. So today I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do some kind of sunflowers, kind of abstract these sunflowers. So I've got my board already. It's an MDF, MBF board, quarter inch, and I put some bracing on the back, some one by two strips. I'll try and show you. Uh, I can't lift it up now, but I just, um, with uh, Gorilla Glue, glued a couple of one by twos just so that it won't, you know, heave or anything. And I primed it with just uh, white house paint, some satin finish uh, house paint, white, to prime it, prime it. And then I'm going to flood it and I'm going to use my airbrush and just make some flowers. I've got a couple of yellows, a vivid yellow and a paler one. And put a little bit of copper. I've been looking at pictures of sunflowers and they have a little bit of copper around the middle. And in the very middle, I'm going to try putting some bronze, like black, but not, oh, not much in there. Don't need much, but um, bronze and black in the middle. I don't need a lot of those because it'll overwhelm. So I'm going to flood it first. Get all that over there. So I'm flooding it with my, this is again that same house paint mixed 50% with, um, glue, school glue, and then I put water in to get the consistency I want. And I'm just going to flutter. I think I have enough here. It doesn't have to be a perfectly smooth flood because I'm going to be blowing paint around with my airbrush, so I just want to get a, a good cover. a little bit streaky because it'll just look like the sky and an amber alert went off and I think it turned off my video <laughs> so I flooded it I'm not sure how much you saw I flooded it and then I'm just kind of placing the first color of the sunflowers I want a whole bunch of them so I just kind of put the vivid yellow I put a bit more And then I'll put some of the, the lighter yellow. I'm trying to make those ones kind of on an angle. I'm not sure if that's going to work. So I'm going to get some of this lighter yellow in. Put that more on the outside, I think. I think that makes more sense. I'm going to do the, hmm, I think I'll put, no, I think I'll, I'm going to go ahead and airbrush it first before I do the, put the copper in. Can I reach my airbrush from here? Okay. Tie it. Okay, so let's see.
think I don't want I don't mind a little bit of spatter, but I don't want that much. There's too much here. I'll cover up some of that. Now the other thing I want to try and do, and I'm not sure how to do it, because some flowers kind of have little sharp edges, so I think I'm going to try and do it with, oh, I know what I need. I need a, what do you call it, a palette knife, there we go. Okay, so I want to see if I can do kind of some sharp Yeah, that works. You know, because some flowers kind of oops, a little chunk of something in there. Kind of have little. Yeah, that's better. That works. Have to clean it off. Yeah, perfect. That works. Because they're not really round, eh? Some flowers have those petals. Okay, so now I want to try and do, this is going to be the tricky part, a little bit, okay, I think what I'm going to do, is I'm going to do some of this first in the middle, oh, I hope this works, that'll be a lot less. This. I don't want to. Some flowers have a pretty big center, but I don't want to lose too much yellow. Okay. scares me a bit. I'm not going to get too much. I can only, oops, what's that? Piece of clippings from my, <laughs> from my vase. Okay, now this is the thing I'm a little bit worried about. I want to put a little bit of copper, tiny bit around the outside. Ooh. Ooh. I hope that doesn't mess it up. I noticed that the sunflowers have a little bit of kind of like a rust color near the middle. Oops, I'm dripping everywhere. Oh well, that's okay. Okay, so I wash my hands. I meant to do the stems. I forgot to do the stems. Yay! Better do that now. I think I'm going to use these two colors. I meant to 
do that before. this a lot. Okay, Ooh, okay, I got my work cut out for me now. All right. Yikes. Ah. Okay. My airbrush is getting a little sticky. It doesn't turn off right away. Whoa. spread out and then I can feather it out a bit. Blending that a bit better. You don't want it to be too severe. get cut off again. Amber Alert, I mean, it's a, they're great ideas. I'm glad they do them. I hope everybody's okay, but eh, turns out it turns your phone off. <laughs> a little bit of green splatter. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave that now. Let it do its thing. Things are going to keep moving. I can always come back and touch things up. But for now, I think we're going to leave that. Take it for a close-up. And there we are. Now, <laughs> I was looking back at the video really quickly. 
and it it uh, it had cut out when I was doing the stem so all I did is I airbrushed the stems and then with my palette knife I just kind of did a few swoops just to kind of fill in the greenery and I don't know what all you missed on the video there but one of the things that I do is um, blow the yellow once I put the stems in uh, blow the yellow back over the top of the stem you know just so that it it's got a natural joining in point I might do a little bit more of that because the paint moves like for example there well yeah I would like to blow the yellow out over that a little bit so I just do that the centers are fine I mean they're you know they're all kind of multicolored, but that's okay that's you know that's kind of the way some flowers are from what I can tell in the pictures so I'm just going to keep an eye on it and make sure nothing goes really wonky if the board's tilted I think I think we're good I think we're level and we'll see uh, see how it dries sunflowers yay